Hello guys, this is iDevice Adi Fixer. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to be fixing a 1015 error um, whilst restoring your iPhone 3GS. This could have happened when you're trying to update um, a 6.15.0 baseband iPhone. Um, um, I was on 4.1, um, now I'm on 4.3.3 as I have now fixed the um, 1015 error. Now I'm on 4.3.3 update. So this is going to help you get out of recovery update to 4.3.3 on your 6.15.00 baseband this will also let you um, once you've done it um, jailbreak and unlock um, the links will be right here and also if this did not work click on the link here for another video which might help you as also um, alright so I'll be coming back um, once this has done alright people I'm back um, as you can see this is the 1015 error um, this normally comes up when you're restoring as I said before alright so this is it now alright so you want to just click OK and click X and just click stop on this whatever happens just click X alright so now you need these two softwares you're going to need red snow um, the links are in the description so I, don't, I can't remember the code for it so um, the links are in the description and you're going to need the 4.3.3 baseband um, I mean the 4.3.3 firmware and that's also in the description as well um, alright so once you've downloaded that what you want to do is when you're restoring your iPhone you want to restore it once more but when you restore it let me just open it up again just to show you Um, your iPhone's in a brick state already so once you've downloaded that firmware it's gonna say this anyway when you think so what you wanna do you wanna hold shift and restore and then you wanna find that firmware you downloaded I've already done this so I'm not gonna do it again um, once you've done that you'll get the 1015 error once again and then you wanna close out of that then what you wanna do you wanna go to Red Snow, click run as administrator once you open that up here it is now I'm going to browse I'm going to find the firmware downloaded here it is for me open it it will say processing firmware alright um, so once that's done just wait alright here it is now it will say if you have the you have the 3GS it's going to ask you if you have the new or the old boot ROM. I'm going to click yes as I have the new boot ROM. Then you click next. As you can see, this is done IPS successfully then identified. Next. It's going to be processing and then patching the kernel. Then you wait. Alright. This will take a few seconds. alright so here it is what you want to do first is you want to uncheck that installed CDR you don't want to jailbreak first it's just going to brick it once again once you uncheck that you want to click deactivate then um, when you click next it's going to say please make sure your device is both off plugged into the computer um, so basically just turn it off um, I'm going to go back onto my camera so then I can show you what to do You see the iPhone is in a brick state. Here is the red snow. Alright, so now I'm just gonna power off my iPhone. Alright, um so powering off. Alright, then you wanna click next and it's already started up. Well hold the power, hold the home and power seven six five four three two one zero and you'll release the power continue holding the home and it should pick up in dfu mode as you can see waiting for iphone 3gs exploiting rhyme rain i suggest you carry on holding the home button and then once it says waiting for reboot release the home button 
and you get the white screen and it say downloading jailbreak data don't worry people right now it's not jailbreaking it's just getting it back into restore mode alright so here it is now downloading alright so it says uploading kernel also for this um, it's going to get white lines on this you're going to need your genuine sim card um, as I'm on the phones on Vodafone I'm going to jailbreak it um, to jailbreak and unlock just click right here and then alright so now that's done I'm going to click finish on there um, I know the camera's bad on the screen alright so alright here it is just waiting for it alright now it says um, moving applications um, this should go successfully this will take a um, couple of minutes so I'm just going to pause the camera I'll come back when it's done that's done now um, here it is just restarting well rebooting whatever alright now it's just gonna go it's gonna go into activation screen so basically as you can see the bar has come up it's not actually loaded it's just the camera that's looking like that there it's starting to load and it's in a don't worry it's not crashed or anything there you go you heard the computer sound alright iTunes should open up and here it's in activation mode now alright so as you can see it says slide for emergency that means you're out of brick state now alright so one second I'm coming back I'm just gonna get my Vodafone sim card alright people this is my Vodafone sim card my iPhone in activation screen alright so what you wanna do now you wanna open up iTunes Sorry, this might take a bit because my iTunes kind of slow. All right, so here it is. Now, as you can see, straight away it says iPhone. All right, so basically, there's no SIM card in it right now, or it says it's not supporting. As you're gonna have to activate it genuinely right now. So I'm gonna put my Vodafone SIM card in. All right, so now my old T-Mobile SIM card. Right, I'm gonna put the Vodafone SIM card in. Alright, so I'm gonna push it in. Alright, so now that's done. You're still gonna say the same thing on the screen. Once you've done that, you just gotta um just take this out. Just gonna take out the cable, put it back in, and now when it comes up, you should go to activation. It says iPhone. My screen there you go sync in progress there you go the phone started up there you go it's done all right so i'm gonna set it up um or i'll just back it up from my old one all right so continue restoring iphone from backup as you can see the iphone is done successfully unbricked sorry in restore that's just because I'm backing up all my old stuff I'll come back once this is done as, as you can see the iPhone is fully working on Vodafone UK and now let's go let me just show you something you are still on the 6.15.00 baseband which will let you unlock the camera's not showing it properly but I am on it and also you are now updated to 4.3.3 really bad alright so that's done um, I'll be making videos for unlock and jailbreak the iPhone 3GS. All right, so if you want to see the unlock or uh, any, all the links will be on the screen. So thanks for watching. Please comment, subscribe, and rate. Thanks.